There is no one more generous than Abul Nukud. Every week he opens his doors to the people Leave of Damascus no. that they may lay down their burdens and know joy. Our days may be dark, but thanks to him, our evenings are now filled with light. The Merchant King provides for one and all. He asks for nothing in return. Let his generosity serve as an example to us all. Everyone should strive to be as he. Interest in dying for him. His coin's not worth my life. A wise decision. What is it you want? I have business with the Merchant King. Ha! Huh? Good luck with that. He rarely leaves his chambers. Why? Is he afraid? Not fear. Hate. He hates himself as much as he hates the people he pretends to serve. Locks himself away in his personal quarters out of shame. He can't stay hidden forever. No. No celebrations of his. He comes out to speak, to look down upon the people. A sense of belonging, I suppose, however brief. What's wrong with him that he would hide like this? You'll see. Now let me go. Let you go? So you can tell him of my plan? I won't say a thing. No, you won't. <laughs> Not trespass here. something? What's got into him? What happens when you run without you looking? Watch yourself! It was good of you to come. It is an honor to serve. What do you require? The letter I've given you must be brought to Salah Adin's camp. Seek out the one they call Hisham. He will be able to help. Tell no one else of this. None will know my mission. Then our business is concluded. Watch what 
Altair, my friend, my brother. It's been such a long time. Any news of Ada since she left? No? How sad. I'm sure you'll find her someday. I have heard a feather is lying on top of Abul Nukud's head. Maybe I could help you. But I have a mission myself. I have four targets I must eliminate before noon. Let's cooperate, just like old times. Two for you, two for me. They are Abu Nukud's personal guards. You will spot them in minutes. <laughs> Did you see that? Odd. Why would you do that? You are not allowed to be here. Leave. Filthy hand! Come back here! Take yourself from my sight. Why are you doing that? No ways. reason for doing that. I've done nothing wrong. I have been doing what you need. Teach your parents. If you're not being good, then come see me. I beg of you. I beg of you. Just a few coins, please.
must come to me. There's nowhere to run, old man. I beg of you. I beg of you I just to put coins. Watch your eyes. I beg of you. I beg of you just a few coins. No, you don't understand. I have Is nothing. Uh, I, um, uh, uh, come, come. show you everything I have. Come on, come on. I must be there. <laughs> family is Maybe you didn't hear me the first time. Watch what you're doing! Should 
Just like in Alep, you remember? Here's something I found on one of the Merchant King's men. I think it's a map of where he has stationed his guards. I'm sure it will come in handy in your mission. Anytime you're in Damascus, come see me. You know my door is always open to you. Safety and peace, my friend. Peace be upon you, Altair. How may I serve you? I've done as asked and learned all I need to know about my prey. Then you must share your knowledge with me. Abu Naqud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The Bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. You dare 
dare steal in my presence? That will cost you your life! Will anyone help me? You dare steal in my presence? God save him! He's gone mad! No? Well, there's no people! Come see what I've had you! What do you think you're doing? What's he running? Right 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 My family is sick and dying. Could you stop? Like I, ah! I swear it! I wonder if he's being chased by someone. Oh, food. I'm so hungry. Just a little money, I bet. They leave horrors in their wake. Al Hadid rides to meet him. That these barbarous acts might Welcome. By the squares in all the land. <laughs> hey! Chip or your time, I will wait. I trust everything is to your satisfaction. Most excellent, most excellent. Yes. Most excellent. Good, good. It pleases me to see you all so happy. For these are dark days, my friends, and we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salah Hadin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. So, I propose a toast then. To you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. Such kindness! I didn't think it in you! You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruel! Oh, do not feign ignorance! You take me for a fool! But I have not heard the words you whisper behind my hat. Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight, no. I wish to speak more of this war, and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you'll say, or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no, all this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different. Just as it bothers you, that I am different. <sighs> Compassion, mercy, tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you. Mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. And so I say, enough! I've pledged myself to another cause. One that will bring about a new world in which all people might live side by side in peace. Hmm. A pity none of you will live to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Who 
tries to escape. now. Their words can no longer do harm. Why have you done this? You stole money from those you claim to lead. Sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance then? No, not vengeance, but my conscience. How could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah ad-Din's cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world.
has reached me of your success, Altair. Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the merchant king was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with Almualab then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes, we'll see what he has to say. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. You dare steal in my presence? That will cost you your life! Use vigilantes you have freed to block your protection. Come, Altair. Speak with me a moment. As you wish. Word has reached me of your success. You have my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? Each man I've slain has confessed strange words to me. They are without regret. Even in death they seem confident of their success. Though they do not admit it directly, there is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to make the distinction. It is simpler that way. But as an assassin, it is your nature to notice, to question. Then what is it that connects these men? Ah, but as an assassin, it is also your duty to still these thoughts and trust in your master. For there can be no true peace without order, and order requires authority. You speak in circles, master. You commend me for being aware, then ask me not to be. Which is it? The question will be answered when you no longer need to ask it. I assume you called me here for more than just a lecture. <laughs> Very well. A rank and weapon are again restored to you. Two more leaders remain. Go and see to it that their rule is ended. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Ah. 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 
Throwing knives to deal with distant enemies. Safety and peace, Malik. Where that the city was possessed of either. Why do you trouble me today? Al Mualim has marked Mejduddin for death. What can you tell me about him? Salahuddin's absence has left the city without a proper leader, and Mejduddin has appointed himself to play the part. Fear and intimidation get him what he wants. He has no true claim to the position. That ends today. You speak too readily. This is not some slaver we're discussing. He rules Jerusalem and is well protected because of it. I suggest you plan your attack carefully. Get to better know your prey. With your help, I will. Where would you have me begin my search? What's this? You're actually asking for my assistance instead of demanding it. I'm impressed. Be out with it. As you wish. Here's where I would look. First, to the southwest near the mosque. After that, head south of here. There are two locations that might interest you. The southernmost church is one, the other is in the streets, near a synagogue. Thank you for your help, Dai. Don't foul this, Altair. Peasant, before I make you. Oh! 
Who did this? Not very I wonder if anyone was hurt. Should Richard take Jaffa, there will be no stopping him. He will march he on that? Jerusalem next. <laughs> we must end this before it has a chance to begin. That city is ours, has always been ours. And it is our duty to defend it until death. The Crusaders must be destroyed. The fires of war consume the land, <laughs> and thousands of lives are lost in its defense. It seems a tragedy, but I say this is an honor to die in service to God, fighting for what we believe in. There is no greater glory than this. Curse him! Curse the Christian king and his me. army of infidels! They go against the will of God, you know, and must be made to pay! Everywhere they ride, they leave only suffering in their wake. I for this nonsense. <laughs> 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 